So I just finished filming the Google Sheets video and I kind of started rushing through some things at the end because my daughter was having a fit about nap time and now I think she's finally accepted it. So I wanted to actually go through and create a roster that I would use to print out for my classes for this upcoming school year. So follow along if you want to see how that works out. So this is going to be a little bit different because this is something that I want to print out. My rosters right now, I was just thinking I'll show you what it looks like, but I, I still have my students' names on there from last year. I like to print out my rosters, use it to record attendance and grades, and I'll take it from the paper, put it into our learning management system when I need to, and then I save everything in a binder for the year I actually save it for three years, but I take it out of the binder and put it in the filing cabinet at the end of the year. Not that you need any of this information, I'm just sharing just, just because. So I, going through the Google Sheets tutorial, I was like, you know what, I think this would be a lot better and a lot easier in a Google Sheet. So I'm going to set this up for the upcoming school year. Okay, so I realized I started describing my roster and then forgot to finish describing my rosters. I have the first column, is all student names. So all of this would be student names. And then I have after that, I think 10 columns maybe right now. So it takes up two weeks and we're talking five day weeks in school because we're, we have not gone to four day weeks. I hear that that's really popular now, but that's not what we have going on. So first things first, I want this to be printable. Um, I'm gonna make sure it goes portrait. And I'm going to be playing with the sizes of everything until I got what I like. Um, so my first column would be student names. Type that in right here. I like to keep the first row blank. Actually, what I usually put here is the period, oops, and then the course. So remember it's control or command enter to get that second line. And then I'd have the first student name and I am anticipating not having more than 30 students so I'm actually gonna go through put the numbers in again just to make sure I got the right amount I mean obviously it's off by one but right now my mind is wondering if I can comprehend that so from row 32 on I don't need I'm gonna go ahead and delete those so I'm gonna use my trick again take out the last number put it up to one thousand not 100 and we're going to delete those rows okay now the reason why I say I'm pretty sure I can only have up to 30 students when our guidance tries to put more students in I tell them I only have 30 calculators and you know more students than that I can't actually accommodate so 30 it is I'm gonna take all these out I don't need all the student names I just want this one here as a marker just so I know what's what and what's going on where. So student name needs a good amount of space because we got last name first and then we have students with multiple last names a lot of the time. So I just wanna make sure there's a good amount of space to make that work. We're gonna do some text wrapping on this part, although it's already fine there. And I want to have the vertical alignment be to the middle. This one I want in the middle, this I want to the right. These I actually like to write in on the paper copy, so I wanna leave these blank. But what I would like to do is have more space for me to write in there. So I'm going to resize this row and let me give it like 150. That looks like a decent amount of space if I'm writing like sideways and upward. The other thing I want to change right now while I'm thinking about it is the font. Um, I don't want to get too crazy with the font. This one's pretty cute. A little too cutesy. Century Gothic is usually pretty standard. I'm going to stick with that. This part I'd want in bold. And actually, let me just put a space in between them. So I'd have the period, the course, student names would start here. And for size, let's go up to 11. And these go to 11. Um, comment below if you know that movie, because that movie's hysterical. Um, all right, so I was saying 
10 columns at least. And the problem is when I have this in Google Docs, I'm so limited on the formatting in the table that I'm using. It won't go any smaller or skinnier than what I have and I don't really like that. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the minimum number of columns I want. Oh boy. And I want to resize these columns and let's make them, let's see what they look like at 50. 50 looks really reasonable. I'm going to take all of this and then I'm gonna go up to the borders and I wanna put borders on all of this because I need to be able to write in it. I'm gonna go to print. That's what this would look like right now. That's actually pretty good. But I know myself. And can I resize multiple rows? Yes, I thought I couldn't for some reason. I'm gonna resize the rows because I write pretty big and these teeny tiny rows will not be able to hold it all. So let me see, I'm trying to think if I should go for 30 or 40. I probably could have. <laughs> Just clicked and dragged to highlight, but I just wanna make sure that it does what I want it to. Sometimes I think it'll do it one way and it doesn't. Sometimes that happens. All right, so I've edited this a little bit so I don't look like a total idiot, but resizing the rows right now is not working out for me so well. All right, so 35, that looks good. Let's see what it looks like on the print. All right, let's see if I can fit all 30 in at 35. And I have to do this like little by little because I just, I'm challenged today. I just took the whole section out so you don't have to watch me struggle with this, but uh, it was a little stressful a minute ago. It's like you have to click on them individually, then you have to right click. Make sure you're right clicking where it's blue over here, otherwise it gets mad at you. All right, now let me see the print view. Oof, it's pushing us on to the next sheet or like the next sheet of paper rather. So I'm going to get these next ones and I'm gonna try resizing them to 30 and I'll see how that works for everything else. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, that's why I just, I only did it so far and then I gave up because I got mad at it because that's what it was doing to me. Now I'm not entirely sure that I have it where I wanted it. Like, did I just miss one? Is one of them bigger than the others? I don't think so, I think I got it. All right, I'm gonna just work my way down. <laughs> Hopefully I can figure it out and make sure I got all the right sizing on the rows. I should just be keeping track. 16 looks like where I'd stopped before. Yes, okay. So they're all sized to 30. Do we fit on one page? No, but we're so close. So um, rather than change these all again, I'm gonna change this top row here and I think we had this set to 150. All right, so I had this set to 150. Let's try 140. Let's see if that's agreeable. No. All right, let's give it 130. Okay, so I really just want it printed out on one page. I don't want it taking up too much space. And what I typically do, like I said before, I believe, is that I will keep track of attendance and grades. So if this is like Monday and we have a test, I want there to be room for A's when they're absent and their test grade. That looks pretty good to me. What I'm really gonna have to do is print it out to make sure. And you know what I could do that I don't have currently? I can split this into one, two, three, four, five. I could kind of split it into being two separate weeks by putting a darker line right here, which I don't always love. Just thinking sometimes we have like a day off somewhere and it's really helpful to have like an extra column for something. Um, but I think when I go to print this out, it'll be helpful to kind of see like, this is one week, this is the next week. Um, a funny story, I have 11. Uh, I did 11 columns and didn't realize it. Oops. All right, so let me take the rest of these and we'll delete those. All right. So let's see what this looks like now um, on the print view. I have two pages again. 
because it's on fit to width so the width changed it shrunk a little bit and so now it's gonna put those on the next page we could also do fit to height instead I don't really love that though now I'm trying to think what size are these columns they're 50 I took one out and if we divide it by the 10 then there'd be five so let's put all these up to 55 stop this is makes me so mad um, okay resize columns make it 55 I was looking how it was looking before I realized I had an 11th column to take out we could actually go a little bit wider I think with the columns then because I want this all to fit onto one page oh man why do I keep doing this to myself I can't find the resize columns what am I doing did I not make them all 55 just a second ago? Did I hit undo by accident at some point? Whoop! Okay, so now we are all on a one page. I think I'm going to leave it like this. I think I like it like this. It looks like a comfortable amount of space for me to be able to write. Um, looks like a good amount of space for me to fit student names. If they don't fit, I can change the font back down to a smaller size um should be readable either way and then for these like i said i like to write on them so i'm not going to fill in dates or anything like that so what i would do though is change the name of the sheet to like first period my school we actually do letters so i'd have it called like a period then i can duplicate it and then this would be for B period so I call it B period and I'd go back and fill in like this part in the course but I'm gonna just duplicate some of these I'm gonna rename them and what I'm gonna do is make this something that if you want to use it you can just grab a free copy no it's got to be consistent it needs to say second and then period so I'm gonna do numbers because I know that that's standard or everywhere else. I'm gonna include all the periods. That way you could rename them, delete what you don't need. So there we do have nine periods. If you color code your class periods, you can change the color of the sheet and I just wanna click on a different sheet, but it puts a color at the bottom. So, you know, it just makes it easier to find the class that you're looking for. Um, I'm gonna take that off though. What's really cool is if I want to print this out, I can print out the whole workbook and it will make each sheet its own page. So when it's time to print out the next set of rosters, that's where I'm going to go and print everything out. Now, if you add rosters that you wanted to share with someone else, you can go to the share button up here and share it directly with them. The things with the links have been giving me trouble lately with Google. So I got this extension called Sir Links a lot, and this will give me the URL of the sheet, but then I can make it into a force copy, a preview, a template, which is fun, um, or a PDF version of this. So I'm going to make this a template preview. And when you click the link below the video, this is what you're going to see. As soon as it loads you're gonna click up here where it says use template and it's basically doing a force copy link it's making a copy for you that is brand new for your Google Drive and then you can edit this and do whatever you need with it so um, I hope this is helpful and that you got something you needed and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below and as always thanks for watching